What's up guys? Welcome back. If you've been watching my channel for a little while now, then you know how this works. This right here is the Sandy Land. This thing started out as a cheap brushed RC truck, but I've been doing all sorts of upgrades on it with the goal of creating the ultimate 18th scale racer. Now we've already done tons of upgrades on this thing, and I would say that in its current state, it is pretty ultimate, but it still has the potential to be even more ultimate. And so in today's video, we're gonna be doing just that. I've got three more upgrades right here to make it even more ultimate. We're gonna be putting on a set of oil-filled shocks to improve the handling and stability, a cooling fan to keep the motor cooler, hopefully cool enough to run 3S, and some metal gears for improved strength. Enjoy! So the first upgrade we're going to be doing here is we're going to be putting on a set of these oil-filled shocks right here. Now I've been wanting to do a shock upgrade for a really long time and a lot of you guys have wanted to see one too, so let's put them on. By the way, shout out to this guy right here who told me where I could get these things from. All right, so we've got these things on, and as you can see, these things absorb shock a lot better, and that is the advantage of oil-filled shocks, is they actually absorb shock rather than just reflecting it back down, and so obviously that's a lot better for handling. Now I must mention that these oil-filled shocks did not actually come with any oil, so you have to fill them up yourselves, and I did not actually have any oil with me, so I instead filled them up with, drum roll please, canola oil. Now wait, before you go into the comments and tell me everything wrong with this, you must realize that number one, I didn't have any shock oil, and if I wanted to get any, it would cost like 10 bucks. Number two, I already had some canola oil. And number three, the two are pretty much identical in terms of like viscosity and texture and really pretty much everything except for edibility. So for now, this canola oil is going to work just fine in the shocks. For now that is, obviously at some point I am going to swap it out for some actual shock oil. So for the next upgrade, I've got this cooling fan right here. So you may remember that when I put in this brushless motor and I started running it on these new batteries right here, it was overheating a lot, like even when it was just running these 2S LiPos. And so I didn't even want to try out my 3S LiPo because I was worried that it would catch fire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just mount this thing on the motor and hopefully it'll keep it cool enough to run the 2S LiPos for longer and hopefully also the 3S LiPo. So to get this thing on, I've 3D printed this mount right here. So basically the way this works, you just slide it in and then I'll screw it in with those little screw holes and then you just stick it on right there. And you can see that holds it perfectly over the motor. So I will put a download link to the 3D printable file for this in the description so you guys can try it out if you want. And actually, before we stick on that fan, we're gonna have to do the next upgrade so that we can still reach the screws without taking it off. So the next up we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be putting on these metal gears right here. So you may remember that a while ago, I put in some metal differentials for extra strength. Unfortunately though, I left the little gears that connect the center drive shaft to the differentials stock, so they were still plastic. And then when my friends and I were sending it off a jump a little while ago, they broke, so we're gonna have to replace them. So we've got these metal ones as a replacement, which are gonna be a lot stronger. So doing this is a lot more simple than it looks, I promise. You do have to disassemble most of the car and take it all apart, but it's actually pretty simple. There's just a few screws to remove. I actually did a tutorial on how to do this in my video about replacing the diffs, which I will put a link to right in there. Basically, once you get to this point where you've got the diffs all exposed and opened up, you can just lift up the center drive shaft like that and take it out. And you can see that's one gear there and the other one has fallen off. And so you can see this one right here is missing a few teeth off the back right there. So we're gonna replace this one. And this one is still plastic, so we're gonna wanna upgrade that. So once you've got those back on, then you can just stick them back in and reassemble it. But first, I'm going to go and put a little bit of grease in these because when I took them out, they were slightly greasy, so they're probably supposed to be greased. All right, so we've got the new gears in and we've got it all greased up and reassembled. So now we can get back to our other upgrade of putting in the fan. So again, to put this thing in, I've 3D printed this mount right here and the fan just slides in there. And you put some screws in, then you just stick it on right here. And as you can see, it's held perfectly just over the motor at a really good angle, so it should blow on it and keep it nice and cool. So initially, I was thinking I would stick this thing on with glue right here, but I'm realizing now that that wouldn't work that great. You see, there's a lot of little screws and stuff down here, and so what that would mean is that every time I wanted to access those, I'd have to pry it off, and that would be really difficult with the glue. So I'm thinking I'll do instead is I'll attach it with zip ties. All right, so we've got the fan on, and you can see I've attached it with these two zip ties here. I've just drilled these holes and then run the zip ties through. So you can see it's very securely on there. It's not going anywhere, but if I want to remove it, I just have to cut those two zip ties. I don't have to try to pry it off or anything. So now all the upgrades are on, and so now we're ready to take it out and give it a test. 
So for the first run, I'm going to be running it on 2S. I know the whole point of the fan was that we could run it on a 3S LiPo, but for just the first few runs, I want to run it on 2S just so I can check it out and make sure that I installed everything right. Actually, quick disclaimer, it turns out we're not going to be able to run this thing on 3S today. So I've discovered an issue with the Sandy Land. It turns out that it does not actually have any bearings, it just has bushings, and those bushings are starting to get very worn down. So that causes a few issues. Obviously, it creates excess drag on the car, but the real issue is that it creates tons of wheel wobble. Like, look at that. Look how much that can wiggle. That right there is really not good. So the wheel wobble causes an inconsistent load for the motor and an uneven amount of wear and tear on the rest of the driveline components, and neither of those things are good. Now obviously the bushings have been wearing down slowly over time, and last time I ran this it ran fine on 2S, so I think we'll be safe to run it like that. But I feel like 3S might be pushing our luck, and if we try to run it on the 3S I'm worried that a bushing or some other driveline component will break. So for now I'm going to play it safe and keep it on 2S, and then later on I'll upgrade the bearings and then we'll give it a go on 3S. Anyway, let's get back to the video. That was a pretty nice jump. What was that? Wait, did you just see that? It was like on its front. Yeah, it was like on its nose when it came off. We'll have to see the slow-mo of that. Oh, oh, you landed it. You landed it, you legend. Dude, you're getting it further off the curb than I am off the jump. Something just... Wow, uh, some grass. Here. All right, so there it is, three more upgrades for the Sandy Land, and I am super happy with how these turned out. They just all work great. It was a ton of fun to drive it around with the oil-filled shocks and just feel how smooth it was, and it was super cool to see it when it went over bumps, and especially with those little jumps that we were hitting off the curb, to see it land and almost perfectly absorb it. As for the fan, I felt the motor a few times when we were driving it, and it was cold, so we're definitely not gonna have any issues with overheating now. And the new metal gears haven't broken yet, so I'd say we're winning there too. All in all, I would say that the Sandy Land is perfect right now, except for one issue which really just ruins it. So as you may know, because I mentioned it earlier, I wasn't able to run the Sandy Land on 3S in today's video, which is a shame because that was kind of my goal. The reason for that is because it turns out that it doesn't actually have bearings, it just has bushings, and those are starting to get really worn down. So what that does is it makes the wheels really wobbly, like look at that in there. And that obviously creates extra friction, but it also creates an uneven load, which is really bad for the motor and the other driveline components. Now fortunately, it was able to handle 2S just fine, but I'm worried that 3S might be pushing our luck a little bit, and I don't want to break anything on this. So next upgrade I'm going to do on the Sandy Land is I'm going to put in some bearings. With the bearings in, the wheels won't wobble around as much because they'll actually fit. Plus, as an added bonus, the bearings have less resistance than bushings, so the car will go faster too. Now other than those bearings though, I would say that the Sandy Land is perfect. I mean, we're pretty close to the Ultimate 18 scale racer, like those bearings will be it. Now guys, I've had a ton of fun upgrading the Sandy Land, and I would really love to keep on upgrading it. So if you guys know about any small, cheap cars like the Sandy Land that you want to see me upgrade, then please tell me about them down below in the comments. With that, thank you all very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.